What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone is doing well, feeling blessed, and highly favored. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the cards, uh, see what's going on. Uh, TGIF, everybody, hopefully you guys are, you know, doing good, feeling good. Um, I'm going to use a few different decks. Um, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to pull overall from the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle. And then I'm going to do the Kipper-ish, and then we'll do overall from uh, Message and Love, and jump to the Tarot. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day thus far. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, I have pre-shuffled. Let's get into it. Okay, we have Gogoro, Ego Death. Uh, creation Partnered, Sex Magic, Reverse. Uh, gratitude Reverse. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. Grat <laughs> gratitude Reverse. Glamour Energy, Glam. And Higher Perception, Passion. So we have Ego Death, Sex Magic Reverse, Gratitude Reverse, Glam, and Passion, or Higher Perception. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Truth, Aura. I think this is all like really symbolic. I'm kind of like excited to get into this. Uh, I'm going to clarify with the uh, Kipper-ish. First one we have out is Ego Death. You know, and if you look at this card, it looks like a tower, the tower card. You know, a sudden realization, uh, upheaval, transformation. Somebody could literally be going through an Ego Death. Um, you know, I mean, it's been going around. I mean, shit, you know. <laughs> I mean, we all, you saw, you know, some of us went through ego deaths, you know, some, you know, um, somebody could be going through ego death, uh, could be a tower, ego death, oh, let me knock, manifestation, house, unbothered reverse, protection reverse, and unexpected money, ah, right off the bat, collective, I get like a hater, I just get hater energy. It's been so heavy, but I mean, it just right off of this, I feel like it's a hater. There's a hater in the room, you know, somebody that could they maybe they have insecure of oh, a yeah, ego death, somebody that could have insecurities, too much pride, too much ego. They could be arrogant. Uh, I feel like somebody's mad. You know, it's a tower moment for somebody that you're manifesting manifestation in house and upright. You could be manifesting stability and maybe your shit's coming through. Because your heart's light as a feather, or you have faith in God, or you know, <laughs> you know, it's not your manifestation is not contingent on outside energies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just get like somebody who's you know heart is in the right place, mind in the right place, and their manifestations are coming in. Manifestation upright, house in the upright. Somebody's manifesting stability, maybe a union, maybe uh you know security, maybe an actual house. And this is like a tower moment for somebody. Like, whoa, well, how dare the collective, you know, do good for themselves? How dare they, you know, be better and do better, want better for themselves? How dare they change and improve? Uh, unbothered reverse and protection reverse. This is somebody that's triggered. They're like really like triggered, upset. I get like really angry. They're angry and they're unprotected. You know, like... That's just, I don't, it's the weirdest, it is the weirdest thing to me. How is somebody so triggered because you're manifesting? Like, maybe if they focus on their own manifestations, you know, fix whatever bullshit they have going on, and stop focusing on you. It's probably somebody, I mean, I, I heard it, so I'm going to say it. This could have been somebody that was talking shit about you. Like, saying that you weren't going to, maybe you weren't going to have stability, you were unstable, you were a bum. Uh, I just get that energy, like, you know, somebody, like, really downplaying you. And now, like, you're manifesting, you know, the things you want. And it's like an ego death for somebody. Like, yeah, shut your mouth. Stop talking about the collective behind their back. You know, at that. Yeah, you have unexpected money coming in. It's going to be a blessing. You know, you, I'm, like I said, you know, you guys have been in alignment. You've been moving with integrity, with righteousness. You know, 
despite all of the chaos that people are projecting towards you. You know, all the lies people are telling behind your back. You know, everything you went through, everything you pushed through. Damn it, you deserve your, you deserve to be manifesting. You, yeah. Let the haters hate. I'm happy for you. Uh, unexpected money. What's going on here? Yeah, of course it's a, yeah. Ice King reverse. King of Swords reverse. This is the sour puss. Somebody mad. It could be a man or a woman. This is a distorted masculine. Divine masculine reverse. This could be your past person. Message reverse. This is just so weird. Goodness. Self-love. Well, yeah, they got a message that they don't like. Message reverse. The message that you love yourself. Like you're not still, you know, if this is somebody that left you, like you're not heartbroken over their karmic asses. That's what I get. Because this is clearly Divine Masculine Reverse and Ice King Reverse. This is the same person. Both, I mean, but both of these are in reverse. This is somebody distorted. Going through an ego death because they couldn't stop what God had for you. You know who you are. You're standing in your own power. Somebody's mad about that. These people need help. Yeah, this person got a message that they, that they don't like. You know, this, uh, this person doesn't like that you love yourself. This person doesn't like that you're healing. That you're facing your inner demons. That you're like doing what you need to do. How dare you do? How dare you try to be a better person? How dare you heal uh, childhood wounds? Like, get, if you don't get your karmic ass on. They get on my nerves. Uh, I just kind of want to say this, like, you know, just to drop, you know... Uh, to anybody, uh, to any of you that are like, say you have an intuitive hunch about a situation, about a person in your energy, you know, pay attention. I know most of you do, but those that don't like, say you're a little bit, you know, a little bit slower like me. Um, and you don't always catch, you know, I'm getting better too, but you don't always catch it. You know, pay attention to those, those intuitive hunches. You know, if you feel like somebody's not really for you, pay attention to that. You know, if they come around and you feel uneasy, pay attention to that. Pay attention to who, you know, celebrates your victories and who's, you know, kind of just silent, you know, in the corner somewhere. Um, it's really important. I don't know. And talk to God. Make sure, you know, you use your words. I had a situation where, like, I was with, uh, there was a friend in my energy, a friend. Um, and I was, you know, I halfway felt like I couldn't trust this person. Something just didn't sit right with me. And I prayed to God. I said, God, you know, um, please remove, expose any foes, any enemies that are in my energy that I'm unaware of and make it, make it clear, crystal clear where I can't deny it. And I kid you not, there was only one other person I had in my energy that I was questioning, you know, everybody else is cool. But, uh, this person got drunk and really told me how they felt. You know, really went in, told me, you know, the projections that these these people do. You know, you think you're so perfect. You think you're so spiritual and on point in your video. And I'm like, I had no idea that this person even watched me. Because they pretend like they don't. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not shit, right? Like, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's a projection. Don't let people project on you either. You think you're so perfect. You think you're better. No, like, that's a projection. You think I'm better. You think collective is better. You think collective is perfect. Because collective had the strength and the courage to do things that you don't. You rather live a facade. Live a lie. Pretend. Wear a mask every day. And collective chose not to. This is weird. Like, I mean, but I mean, I pray, you know, this person went off on me, told me, you know, a whole bunch of shit that I know that, one, it's not true. Two, they don't even believe it. You said it to hurt me. But like... This person said all of these insults, gave me all these insults. And the one thing I said in return was thank you. I replied, thank you. In the conversation. Like, thank you for showing me who you really are. Goodbye. Nice life. Hope you meant every word because you know what? I don't. Yeah. We don't know each other. Keep it that way. Um, but yeah, I felt or you trust though, trust your intuitive hunches because a lot of people will try to gaslight you and make you think, you know, oh, well, no, you know, you're overthinking or you're paranoid. No, like you're a master manipulator and my intuition's on point. Um, anyway, <laughs> next one we have out is sex magic reverse, uh, creation partnered reverse. Um, somebody could have did some sex magic that then went back, like maybe they were trying to manifest doing some ritualistic sex and the shit backfire like everything else that they attempt to do or send to you collective sex magic reverse divine film i can like try to send you some shit they want to send some shit to a df yeah return to sender faith reverse abandonment 
family. Awakening reverse. I feel like this could be like people. It could be an actual family. It could be family. It could be friends. Or this could be a group. Some type of group or something. You had to walk away. There was some type of people. There was some people. Uh, at least the person. But I feel like multiple people. That maybe shared the same views. And either these people don't have faith. Or they have a darker faith. You being divine. You saw this. You felt it. You saw it. And this is a group. A family. Or whatever the case. That you walked away from. Could be a community. You know. You saw that these people, like, maybe they had, like, some, you know, some darker shit. They had dark-ass auras. You know, these people are never happy. You know, they don't love themselves or they don't love anybody else. Talk shit about everybody else behind their back. You know, so it's like, well, I'm sure they're talking about me. Um, this is like a, some people you walked away from. It could be family. It literally could be family. A lot of you have, you know, karmic family. You know, people that could be blood relation. And for whatever reason, they just don't want to see you win. And it's because they are of their darker faith, you know. Uh, these people are unawakened. I feel like this is like literally a group. A group of people that are unawakened, you know, that you had to walk away from. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I can relate, you know. You got to get away from those people. People that want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you down. They want to, you know, drain your energy and not pour. You know, want you to pour into their cup and not pour anything into yours. They want to doubt you, you know discredit you behind your back yeah leave those people in the dust because honestly they're trapped they're trapped in their own shit you know trapped in this whatever this is if you walked away from a family you walked away from a group dynamic you did the right thing uh what's awakening family awakening abandonment sweetheart reverse oh my goodness this is resonating for me this could be a man or a woman sweetheart reverse is Queen of Cups energy reverse. This is a water sign. Cancer energy. Cancer, Aquarius. Or not, not Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio. No, it's, it's not even Scorpio. I think it's like Cancer or, Spicy, or, or Pisces. It's water energy. Queen of Cups energy. So this is like, you know, somebody that could be emotionally unsta unstable, emotionally unavailable, uh, very moody. I get Cancerian energy. This is a Cancer. It would be a Queen of Cups. Uh, could be a man or a woman, though. This could be somebody you had to walk away from. Like you being the DF, you know, you had to walk away from somebody because maybe they were unawakened, maybe low vibrational, maybe fake. Uh, what's this sweetheart reverse? This is somebody super jealous and envious. This is resonating. Woo wee. Somebody jealous and envious of you. And it could have been family. It could be family. But I also, that card can represent like a, a group dynamic as well. Like a community or something. You walked away from somebody, at least one energy here, that's jealous and envious. Want to project their bullshit onto you. This person's also, yep, 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 yep. This person could be a dark witch as well. This person could be a dark witch as well. Like I said, collective, all you have to do is just is stay in high vibes, keep on healing, keep pressing forward. Everything will reveal itself. Because like I said, the situation I was in, you know, this person uh, ran it all down. I was wondering, you know, who in my circle is projecting this energy towards me? This person go the, the close the message this, that was sent with uh, and don't think about sending any of that magic shit to me because I'm on a totally different caliber. I'll fuck you up. With the magic. Oh, so you a witch. Okay, so you a dark witch too. Oh, okay, cool. Got you. <laughs> Moving on reverse. This is somebody who either can't move forward or they're choosing not to move forward. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, I already had confirmation for my situation, but uh, that's wild. This could be like a friend. You know, it, we had family come out, but this, I mean, it could be family. Maybe I feel like for somebody, it is family. That's why that card came out. This was like a group, a family you had to walk away from. Maybe you were the black sheep. Maybe you didn't fit in. Maybe it was a community, you know, a group of friends, which I mean, look, collective, in all honesty, <laughs> these people are upside down. So if this was a friend group, like, I mean, they're all walking around on their hands. They're distorted, miserable. So, I mean, yeah, walking away was the best thing you could do. And they're jealous and envious. Who wants friends like that? 
stuck in their own shit. They tried to send you, yeah, they tried to project some type of destructive energy to you, a tower moment. Return to sender. It's going back. The structure reverse. Yeah, this is like literally a karmic feminine energy that's in your energy. They're of a darker faith. You walked away from this person or you need to. Just weird. Ugh. Uh, gratitude reverse. You know, somebody could be lacking gratitude. You know, don't appreciate nothing. So they're never happy. Uh, gratitude reverse. Pathway. Destruction reverse. <laughs> Baby, concern. Oh, yeah. Somebody worried. Twin flame reverse. Dummy. Real love. So, you know, you being, like I say, you being in the upright, you know, divine feminine, you know, man or woman, you're on your pathway. You know, a lot of you are in alignment. You know, a lot of you have had to remove a lot of things and people and places out of your life, you know, because they just don't, you know, you don't fit and they don't fit. You know, they'll say you don't fit in. You know, you'll say, or I know I'll say, I don't want to fit in. Not with y'all. I'm cool. Uh, you're on your pathway. Somebody could have tried to throw a wrench in your operation, you know, because you think you're perfect. You think you're so spiritual and you're on your spiritual path. Let me throw some uh, destructive energy your way. How about not return to sender? It's going back to them. Whoever's sending this energy could be this karmic ass friend, this priestess reverse. Oh, jealous, envious ass. Uh, they're concerned about this. They're concerned about this concern. In the upright, this person could be worried, like, oh my goodness, like, uh, collective's still over there good. You know, I know this shit's coming back. So this person could be worried. Somebody who lacks gratitude, they're not grateful for shit. Twin flame reverse and real love. Now, this is confusing. This could be a false flame. This could be, you know, some, uh, this could be your past person that got demoted or something. You know, uh, real love in the upright, what is this? Bottom of the deck, we got voodoo. So this is what they want to do. This is what they want. So you want to play with magic? Well, you should know what you bargain for. Shit, ain't that what Katy Perry or whatever Katy Perry is it? <laughs> uh, what's real love? Twin flame, emotional pain reverse, love spell, Jezebel reverse. If this ain't the saddest piece of endings, yeah, like I thought. This could be your past person over here. They wanted to send some, you know, you got on your pathway, you know, left that joker right in the dust where they needed to be. And um, this person tried to send you some destructive energy. I mean, you got this is like different people because I don't feel like this priestess reverse. This can't, you know, uh, water energy, queen of cups reverse. That's a dark witch. They're jealous and envious that you moved on from. I don't think that that's this, this false flame. I feel like you got a family member or a friend and then you have a past person. That's also, you know, wanted to project or send some shit your way. Now they're worried about it coming back. This is a false flame. Which, I mean, real love came out in the upright, but I don't, you know, I'm not even going to say that this person loves you. I'm not going to say, oh, they love, oh, but they love you. No, because I don't see it. I don't know. <laughs> emotional pain reverse. They're in deep emotional pain. This is somebody, I, they, in their mind, maybe they think they love you. Maybe they think that this is love. Like this is the, you know the correct way to love or something you know they're deluded um this person's in deep emotional pain they're hurt because they did a love spell maybe they well i just heard it they did several somebody could have did several they've paid for this ritual done they've tried to do it themselves and you still release that ass jezebel reverse endings upright they paid for you know this shit or did it themselves and it didn't work you still released this jezebel karmic it's a permanent ending. Uh, glamour energy, glam. You know, this is like, you know, some more of the bibbidi bop, you know, the hubra habra. People, you know, want to make themselves appear more attractive than, which beauty is in the eye of the, eye of the beholder, if you ask me, you know. Uh, but, you know, these people want to make themselves appear more attractive. You know, uh, it's just lying, another facade. You know, these people love a good mask. Uh, glamour energy. Somebody could be trying to glamour you. What's going on here? Opposition reverse. <laughs> Blocked reverse. This is somebody that don't want to oppose you no more. They're trying to glamour you. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm not working against you no more. 
Let me do this glamour spell so that way you find me attractive again. Uh, travel. Just ridiculous. Animosity reverse. Actual money reverse. This person is not opposing you. I mean, at the moment. Let's just say that. I'm not going to say, you know, anymore. I'm going to say at the moment. This person is not opposing you. They're not opposition. Because they want to be unblocked. This person could be blocked. They have no access to your energy. And I feel that heavy. You know, I think my last read, Ancestors, was the first card out. You have, you know, you got your people with you. You know, so this person's being blocked from your energy. They don't want to oppose you anymore because they want to be blocked. They want to be unblocked. This is somebody that wants to travel towards you. They want forward movement with you. If you're moving forward, they want to move with you. But this is somebody that's really pissed off because they're losing some type of money, some type of abundance. Which I can tell if you're in a better situation than you were when you were with this false flame, this past person. Of course, yeah, now they want to come back. Because you know what goes around comes around. People are getting everything. Yeah, this person's in mentally and emotionally unstable. You know, these are people that only care about money. They threw you under, in a lot of cases, threw you under the bus for money. Fake, false, reverse. They're, um, yeah, and they're getting everything that they, they're reaping everything they've sown. What's this actual money reverse? What's this, this about? Expectation. Nice guy reverse. Commitment. Uh, single, sexy, and successful. They're expecting... Oh, wow. I feel like this person's confident. They're confident that they can be distorted, right? Nice guy reverse. King of Cups reverse. Emotionally unstable, emotionally unavailable, or emotionally manipulative. Or all three. This person, I feel like this person is expecting. They're expecting, you know, to get a commitment with you. Boy, the cojones on this this guy or this woman, like, uh, or they could be expecting you to get into a commitment with somebody else. I just this person could be getting readings on you. They're expect yeah. In some cases, this person is expecting you to get into a commitment elsewhere. Um, yeah, it's just weird. What is uh what's this commitment? Commitment and single sexy successful. Yeah, this is with somebody that uh has love for you. Ritual reverse. Earth Angel reverse. Yeah, because their shit backfired. Well then we had yeah, love spell. We had love spell over here in the upright. They did something. Ritual came out reverse. Whatever ritual they did or paid for, it went back. They lost the Earth Angel. Or another way I'm getting if this was your twin flame and they got demoted, they're a fallen angel. Earth Angel reverse. This person did some type of ritual to make you like them. Enamor, ritual upright. Well, uh, this came out reverse. They did some type of ritual to get you to like them. And that came out reverse. It went back, yeah. I don't know if they were expecting to get a commitment with you because they did a ritual. Oh, I just know it's going to work this time. I get the oh, uh last one here we have is uh higher perception passion uh somebody could be seeing something from this got this collective energy all over it i don't feel like anybody else in this read is going to have a higher perception it's you boo uh, um higher perception passion somebody could have passion boss gift reverse Conflict. Get the okay. Community reverse. Priest. You know, if people would just mind their business and stop focusing on the collective, like things would actually be better for them. There's a whole community, a whole karmic clan, you know, of distorted individuals, right? And I feel like these people are mad. This boss came out upright, so that could be somebody, you know, maybe a new person or somebody, you know, that's not distorted, 
that has a higher perception and they're seeing this they're seeing but this could also be your past person i feel called to say that this could be your past person that bosses in the upright maybe they're like a shift lead somewhere or something uh gift reverse somebody lost a gift and they're mad about it conflict uh conflict if somebody lost a gift and they're mad about it this could be a group of people like not receiving something maybe because it wasn't theirs in the first place then we have priest in the upright you know priest this would be uh this would be like the counterparts of the priestess although we did have the priestess come out reverse over here i'm telling you this line resonated for me everything else this year <laughs> it's all y'all uh there's a bunch yeah i feel like uh, who's this priest what is this priest i feel like there's a community like a whole you know little group of people you know achievement third party sitch this is your your masculine yeah this is your masculine they are having a higher perception that's why they're in up right here this uh will be your counterpart especially this is the, so those of you carrying high priestess energy uh this is a spiritual you know spiritual minded spiritually wise masculine energy uh this person has successfully released a third party energy they have broken free from this you know this woodland creature this hoofed beast in the back mad sour face they've uh successfully released this person or gotten away from this person yeah a couple more relationship occupation lust reverse this person this is somebody new i don't know if you're you know you this could i feel i feel like this is new energy maybe for some of you this could be like your past person getting their shit together i don't really feel that i'm sorry beloved i feel like this is somebody else unrelated that's why they came on the upright because this masculine over here was reverse uh nice guy reverse you know, and they're trying to project negative energy to you. This would not be a priest or a boss in the upright. It's for, oh, look, 888. Eight, eight. This is your person. This is your person. This is somebody that, you know, uh, maybe they, they're aware of you. You guys might know each other. They know who you are. They have a higher perception. There could have been a whole group of people, you know, a whole group of miserable ass people that really tried to like, you know, y'all went through smear campaigns. Y'all went through, you know, and they did all this shit behind your back. Like all 30 of them. Just like they're so gross. But, you know, uh, real recognize real. And that's the thing. You know, all 30 of them are fake and phony. Real recognize real. This person right here has a higher perception. They see what's real and what's not. And these people are mad because they've lost a gift. They're losing a gift. Because they want to be dumb. Yeah, or whoever this, uh, this person coming in for you, though, uh, maybe they released a third party of their own. They could have had their own situation that... Uh, that they uh, managed to get out of. This is somebody that you know. They could have a title or position. Such as like divine masculine. <laughs> uh, they want a relationship. This is somebody that you could potentially partner with. If you're not already partnered with them. Lust reverse. This is not you know the gigolo that you were dealing with before. And Jezebel energy that you released. Yeah this is lust reverse. This, this person is not a whore. This is your equal. Uh, that's great. Let's jump into the uh, the tarot here. Yeah, I was a little bit skeptical about pulling cards. Because like I said, I just had that situation. You know, which I like. That's why I say listen to your intuition. Because it is what I have. What I am learning. Personally, is that very seldom is my intuition wrong. And also, it seems like anybody who's called me paranoid, they have been a culprit. They've been an enemy. They've been a foe. I've had three people. You know, since this whole thing kicked off in 2021, I've had three people call me paranoid. And all three of them have revealed themselves as uh, a foe. So, you know, pay attention. It's just weird. People be watching you and act like they don't. Like, what's what's up with that? Like, you know, uh, I'm going to pull overall for message and love. Regret. I wish this never happened. Responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. 
third party reverse. I'm telling you, yeah, it's a third party somewhere got cut loose. Somebody got their walking papers. Uh, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. We have reverse. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. Oh, goodness. Uh, daydreaming. Reverse. I am always longing for you. Reverse. So we have regret. Responsibilities. Third party. Reverse. Secrets. And daydreaming. Reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. I feel like somebody might want to tell you something. Somebody might want to tell you something. I do. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's that they, you know, married a karmic and had a Nephilim. Or, you know, I don't know. Let's get into it. Uh, regret. First one out is regret. I wish this never happened. You know, somebody is in deep regret. You know, now that, you know, it's all said and done, you know, impossible to fix, you know, <laughs> in a lot of cases, it's totally completely impossible to fix it. You know, somebody is in deep regret, regret the hangman reverse. Yeah, they see clearly now. Like you got the halo of illumination. Like, oh, my goodness, I married the Crips keeper. Oh, my goodness. Hidden in. Yeah, this person has been revealed to them as a hidden enemy and they stuck with the creature. Or no, they released it. Yeah, third party reverse. They chose that creature over you. Uh, nine of swords. Yeah, somebody is uh, stressed out, having sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, worry, fear, doubt. Eight of pentacles. Oh, black magic. <laughs> Woo, baby. <laughs> Two of pentacles reverse. Mm, mm, mm. So this is somebody that's in deep regret. I feel like they're in deep regret. They're stressed out. You know, they're stuck. You know, uh, they are enlightened. Uh, but this person could have invested in. They could have put work into doing some. Some. Well, yeah, we had to come out in Kipperish. This was somebody trying to send you distorted energy. Towers and destructive energy. They were invested in doing black magic. To have your finances in balance. To have you in balance. Or so they could juggle you. Eight of Pentacles, Black Magic, Two of Pentacles, Reverse. What is this, Holy Spirit? Five of Wands. They could have sent you Chaos and Conflict mag Magic. Or they're mad. What is that? Pure, they're mad because you see through. Yeah. Up in the clouds, Reverse. They're mad because you see through the bullshit. You see them for who they are. You know, maybe they got you. Man, and I wouldn't be surprised. But maybe, you know, in some cases, maybe this person got you with a love spell. Like, if you look at that person now, you're like, what was I think? Like, yeah, it was. <laughs> they got you with a love spell in the first place. Oh, man. Up in the clouds. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody is, you know, they're pissed off. They're mad. You know, because you see them. But you see them for who they are. Like, yeah, a creature, take the mask off. We see you. Uh, responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Five of Pentacles reverse. Oh, that's why they coming back. <laughs> Five of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody in poverty. You know, they say they need to take care of their financial and emotional needs. So yeah, if you got a coin now and they don't, yeah, that would explain it. I mean, come on back and spend your money. Yeah, this person's tremendously burdened. Whatever responsibilities these are is a lot for this person. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Pool. Yeah. Came right after you, pool. Yeah, vampire reverse. This is an emotional vampire that you release. You let this person go. Uh, that ice king reverse that we had out of Kipper ish. It's a narcissist, an emotional, energetic vampire. They, you know, they want to suck the fun out of everything, suck the life off out of you. In some cases, this person was draining your, harvesting your energy and taking it to a whack ass karmic the whole time. This is somebody you release. You let that ass go because you see, you see through the smoke. You see through the smoke and mirrors. You saw this person for who they are. Um, they're, maybe they're burdened by the fact that you're independent and like getting to the getting to the bag, like all the way to it. You got nine pentacles on your neck and another ten coming in. That's nineteen pentacles. This person is this person is tremendously burdened. Like, oh lord, <laughs> she loaded. <laughs> She's loaded, and I let her go. Oh lord. Like, yeah, especially if this person at the five of pentacles and they let you go. Nineteen pentacles and they at the five. Uh, yeah. Somebody bumped their head. They feeling real dumb about this shit. Um, 
that's self-explanatory i'm gonna move yeah uh third party reverse uh there were other things that got in the way of us being together so clearly yeah other things there was another person uh third party reverse <laughs> the emperor oh the magician reverse goodness high priestess reverse it's this third party that they chose two of cups reverse four of pentacles reverse so you know if this is your person this is your emperor you know the emperor to your empress uh this could be a father figure a boss your dm uh they got black magic done on them maybe this person took part you know in some cases this person might have took part as well especially if this is that king of uh swords reverse out of the kipper is the ice king reverse but i feel like they 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 were dealing with the third party yeah because the high priestess reverse is a feminine energy that is dark spiritually dark and then the magician is like will be like what the the mat or no that's the hair font there's a dark wish that did black magic on them did did black magic on y'all to break you up two of cups reverse you know, some, you know, cockroach looking ass karmic that, you know, did some bibbity bobbity boo to break you and your person up. And they thought that they were, what, going to replace you walking around on their hands, being karmic as hell. They thought they could replace the empress, a divine feminine. Yeah, that's why they're upside down. They don't think very often. <laughs> uh, Four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they did magic to get this person to release you. Four of Pentacles reverse, two of Cups reverse. They did black. This, this, this. Uh, you know. Oh, I just heard evil witch bitch. Um, yeah, that that person did <laughs> some type of black magic to have this person release you and release this connection. What a weirdo! Like they, they, they're just so weird. I guess I think these people are raising children. Oh, uh, secrets. I haven't told you everything. I ain't told you everything. Oh, goodness, the devil. <laughs> Baby, he ain't told you everything. Uh, seven of Wands. <laughs> Woo, goodness. Six of Pentacles reverse. The Most High. Pure, yeah. I like that because we had the devil come out. The Most High. How about that one? Those apples, buddy. Uh, three of Cups. This wanted to turn around, but it came out on the fence. Three of Cups. I feel called to do another one more. Six of Cups. Somebody's toxic as hell. That's what they say. They say they haven't told you everything. Yeah, this player, Knight of Wands. Uh, they say they haven't told you everything. I haven't told you everything. I haven't told you that I'm toxic as hell. I got bad habits. I'm addicted to stuff. Sex and drugs and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm toxic as hell. I don't mean you're no good. I ain't tell you that. Uh, I feel like you're protected or you know this and this is why you're guarded seven of wands You know, not only are you divinely guided and divinely protected you got your guards up like mm -mm. I know your ass is toxic. What you want? Um, Yeah, you're guarded because this person yeah, there's no ego give and take this person would they if they're coming back in if This is a past person that did you for dirt the first time literally they're at the five of Pentacles They're coming in to take from you They're down bad and here you are 19 Pentacles yeah, this person's on the way. They are on the way. You know, uh, wherever you are, they coming in to, to come take. You got 19 pinnacles. I'm sure I can steal six. Like if you don't get your karmic ass on. Shit. Um, but yeah, I feel like they want to take. Uh, but, but God. But the most high. Fuck they thought. I don't know if this person is losing friends or losing, you know, the support of a group. Three Cups came out on the fence. You know, they're not celebrating the most high. You know, this talk, I made this talk about God and divine intervention. So, yeah, like God's all up in this thing. Like, uh, yeah, you will not be celebrating with my collective. Get your karmic ass on. Six of Cups reverse. There will not be a reunion. You're not getting back with the, uh, this divine feminine or this divine masculine. Get your karmic ass on. And like I say, that's, yeah, divine intervention, the most high. You know, your angels, God, your angels, your spirit guides. Yeah, they blocking this shit. Uh, daydreaming reverse. I am always longing for you. Reverse. I feel like this is your energy. 
<laughs> I pay, and that's the truth. Ace of Sword. <laughs> I cannot make this up. I feel like that's your energy, Pooh. Yeah, you made your mind up about it. You got truth and clarity about this situation, and you have made your mind up. Two of Swords reverse. You are not indecisive. You have made your mind up. Period. Seven of Pentacles and reaping good karma. Planting seeds in the right direction in fertile soil. The full reverse. Yeah, because somebody else was careless and reckless. You know, this person didn't have the sense God gave him. Yeah, you got a man. Made your mind up real quick. Intuitive care reverse. Oh, yeah, under the full reverse. So, yeah, you were dealing with somebody that was like, you know, not following their intuition. You know, they were careless and reckless, took unnecessary risks. They weren't listening, catching any of the signs or synchronicities they were receiving. And, you know, I feel like you, you got truth and clarity about this situation, exactly what happened, maybe. And, you, you know, you made a decision or it could be this person as well. But I really feel like that, you know, daydreaming reverse. I'm always longing for you reverse. Like, yeah, you got truth and clarity and you made your mind up and you decided to invest maybe in yourself, you know. I get the energy of somebody. Maybe this person had you in limbo for a while. Unsure of whether, whether to stay or whether to stay or whether to go. You know, or what the hell was going on. Because they didn't tell you anything. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands reverse. Uh, this can talk about delays. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. It can talk about delays. It can talk about uh, failure to take action. Not taking action. A missed opportunity. Uh, Knight of Cups is a love offer. Temperance is balance energy, earth angel energy, healing energy. Somebody's delayed from making a love offer to an earth angel or maybe because they need to get balance. Uh, justice reversed. Something was unfair. And it was fated to happen this way. You were fated to a sin. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody, somebody was fated to a sin. Either you or Queen of Cups. What's up, boo? In the upright. Baby, show them how it's done. You had the uh, sweetheart reverse. That old karmic ass water sign. Oh, hey. Look at the king of cups in the upright. This was fated to happen. Like if you know whether this is your person or you have somebody new coming in. The thing is the two of y'all were fated to be in the upright and to ascend. Like say this was or this is a real twin flame union. Like yeah, these little these people when they had little spell books and their candles, they thought that they could stop that. You thought y'all was y'all thought y'all was stopping God? Something that the Most High ordained. You really thought that you was trumping that? That's their fucking problem. They thought that they was trump. Yeah, period. Death, permanent ending. Y'all karmic ass is on. Heartbroken all. Beat it. Narks. Uh, divine, <laughs> divine guidance. Twin flame reverse. Or that's a false flame. Yeah. Somebody else was a false flame. This was a, a, a player. You know, laying it low, spreading it wide. You got divinely guided to release that joker. To cut that emotion, that narcissist off. That emotional manipulator. That line. Look, I cannot make this up. You see, you see, it's to two totally different masculines. Because this is that Ice King reverse. Libra energy. This person's a whole liar. Cold, calculated. Selfish, cruel. And yeah, you could peace out on that ass. Goodbye, narc. Shit, maybe you was public about it. Or you could do something on social media that exposed this bullshit, son. Exposed that this wasn't your divine partner. But now somebody's obsessed with getting a love contract. I don't know if they think they got some good news coming in or what. They got a, Yeah, this person's stuck in the karmic cycle. What the hell? They, or maybe they think, yeah, they think y'all have unfinished business. This person's unhealed and they have yet to apologize or take accountability. Or this could just represent a hater. Somebody's just a hater. Of course, they do it behind your back, though, right? Because they got to manipulate you. Yeah, this person's facing obstacles and they are not. They may not push through this. Or this, this could talk about giving up, too. They may want to give up. Oh, if I got to say sorry, then forget it. Yeah, get your karmic ass on. Goodbye. Yeah, because they can't. You're not giving up. Star energy. Queen of Wands reverse. This is a uh, fire energy, Leo energy, but it could be any sign, literally. Uh, this is a lustful, feminine energy. Uh, this person doesn't want to be rejected by King of Pentacles reverse. Who's losing stability. They're stuck, can't move forward. 
This was a hidden enemy to you. It's been revealed. You see that. Ace of Cups, Empress Reverse. Yeah, they gave the Ace of Cups that, you know, they, they wish they gave to you. Uh, they gave it to your doppelganger, a copycat. And they got them nothing. They got nothing in return. Then Queen of Swords Reverse. This has been, I've been feeling like this is a mother energy. It could be a man, though. It could be, I mean, it can literally be anybody. This is somebody cold, detached, uh, you know, evil, vengeful, spiteful, just a, 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 a mean person. This person, they want to avoid a tower and receive some type of abundance, some type of money. Or they thought that they were going to receive some type of money by gossiping and slandering. They lied. They told vicious lies on somebody in the, in the justice system, in court. And now that ass is grass because the truth has been revealed. King of Wands reverse. This jigger lock. A clown. A total clown that you released. And now this person's embarrassed, ashamed. Six of Wands reverse. They're losing. Yeah, because they were selfish. Then we have another karmic feminine energy. Queen of Pentacles reverse. A gold digger. Yeah, this is somebody that I don't know if this person wants to come. Somebody wants to come towards you and maybe, you know, offer you something. They want to like, you know, play innocent. You know, claim that they're innocent. They want to communicate something quickly because a collaboration has failed. This person could be tired or recovering from something. Somebody could be recovering from an illusion that was cast. Wanting to make an offer. Or this could be financial good news. Somebody could be receiving financial good news after releasing a karmic. Yeah, maybe they made they made the wrong choice. They chose a karmic, they made the wrong choice. They released this karmic uh, facing judgment, you know, under judgment for being a hater. Now they want to take impulsive action because they're unhappy. They're in deep regret. They could be going to jail for something. They're trapped in something because they were low vibrational. White magic reverse. Hierophant reverse. The karmic counterpart to a priestess reverse. Or to a priestess. Yeah, and we already had that one come out. They belong together. This person left you and they went towards somebody just like them. Dark and corrupt. And all their secrets are coming out. Everything's been exposed. About their karmic asses. Yeah, I can... <laughs> listen, man. The moon followed by secrets. Both reverse. All their bullshit is coming out. Like I said, they want to drag collective out with lies. We're snatching their snatching their wit, their their lace fronts, uh, out with the truth. Shit, the hell! You will reap everything you sow. They're disloyal, not trustworthy, and they're not moving forward because they're false people. Ten of Swords, a painful permanent ending. All their deception revealed. Seven of Swords, all the lies and deception, the theft, all of the bull. This came out in one of my other readings too, because we had the secrets and the moon, and uh, four cards talking about shit coming out. Everything is coming out. Everything will come out. And I think a lot of y'all been manifesting this shit. Vindication, justice, yes. Like who they thought they was. Fuck they thought. Uh, I'm going to pull an oracle from Shadows and Light. See what we got. Give us a good one, spirit. Fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Period. What they thought they, thought they were stopping you? The natural world needs you, collective. Like I said, you are, you, you are here with a, a divine purpose. You know, one that serves humanity. Not one that takes away from it like these clowns. Uh, I'm going to pull one from Starseed too. See what we got. I'm saying they thought they were stopping something. Ugh. I swear, if you see a karma today, just slap them. Slap them. Him or her. Just slap them right in their face. Uh, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, Star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Baby. You, you are part of a team of souls. Call in support. Anytime you need it. That's what I'm most grateful for. Shoot. Uh, let's, be, uh, let's start with the uh, Shadows and Light. 44, baby. 44. That reminds me of like 444. Uh, divine Protection. Or the, the 144. Uh, baby. Yeah, the natural world needs you. I don't know what these folks was thinking. Don't know what they were drinking. You know, but uh, yeah. The natural world needs you. Um, yeah. All right. Fairy of the green world. This little green fairy signifies 
and embodies the life force of the green world. She is seen trending or tending to plants that are drooping, too moist or too dry. She is like a nurse or healer, assigned to the plant realm, great forests and small personal gardens alike. She is joyful every time someone gives energy to this realm. Every little bit helps nurture the plants, which are very tired. Fewer and fewer plants and trees and forests are expected to provide more and more life-giving oxygen for animals elements and we humans sometimes she becomes overwhelmed with all we humans have done to the green world so she may be about to ask you for your help when you give her your help blessings are returned to you threefold uh the divination message take time to grow plants or tend a vegetable patch or an herb garden look into contributing some money or time or devotion to cause to a cause for the green world. The natural forests and the wide green spaces of the planet need your healing, kind, and tending hand and heart now. Your influence will have great power. Make a donation. Uh -oh. Make a donation to a wildlife foundation for the green world. Look into establishing a grove or visiting a forest and offer your energetic support and prayers for a world where green spaces thrive and where the wild creatures of the green woods continue to live in their own environment. See and visualize a world where green things grow and the fairy of the green world will know that nature is safe while there are one such as you in this world. It is time for growth, for abundance, for the earth element to find its way true and strong in your beautiful life. Eat organic foods, go raw, detox, find a water source and cleanse it. Be, uh, be more self-sustaining and help step or sorry, be more self self-sustaining and help why do i keep saying help be more self-sustaining and step away from the unnatural system and join with the natural energies of the planet and the galaxy fairy of the green world the natural world needs you that is like it's crazy because i was talking to uh my friend or my real friend not the one that you know got exposed today um i was talking to my friend yesterday and um uh, i was just talking about that because i had watched a couple videos about climate change and how it's a really see i mean it's like a really serious issue you know they've been talking about it for years and most people just don't you know i used to be one of them people like i really didn't you know i hadn't really looked into it i would you know i'm like okay yeah we good though right <laughs> but no it's like a serious issue you know it's a very serious issue so i was talking to my friend about like you know self-sustaining and like growing plants like two of the plants i have are uh vegetable plants i got a bell pepper plant and a jalapeno plant that i started just because i had the seeds um but i'm like really into that maybe uh you could be too maybe you need to get some plants maybe you need to go out into nature the natural world needs you um that was a good one this was a good one all right from uh star c we have star family you're a part of a team of souls call and support period because your fam got you that's why they always say, when I first got into this a year ago, a year and a half ago, and everybody used to always say, oh, you're never alone. I was like, what are they talking about? I'm by myself. Don't nobody love me. But no, you're literally never, <laughs> no, you're never alone. As you know, most of you know. Um, at some stage, we're each a part of a soul cluster, a gathering of souls who broke away from one other to experience themselves individually those who are part of your soul cluster are part of your star family your star family are those souls who are cut from a similar cosmic cloth you haven't just experienced lifetimes together your souls were once actually one it's very common for star family members to incarnate at similar times to work with anchoring a similar frequency of light and to cross paths with each other you know that someone is part of your star family when you feel like you know and remember them from the moment you meet they feel instantly familiar and comfortable. Time both passes quickly and stretches when you're with them. You feel more yourself with them than with anyone else. It can sometimes feel like looking in the mirror because in a way you are. Often you'll go out of your way to help those in your star family, instinctively knowing it's part of your path. When a star family member dies, you feel it very deeply, regardless of how long you've known them. A certain soul mourning or soul breaking occurs. Think about the people in your life. Who do you feel is part of your star family? If this card comes up in a spread, it's likely that you've met someone who is a part of your star family or you're about to. Baby, star fam. What's up, fam? Uh, who do you think is from the same star family as you? 
how can you call upon them for support that's the inquiry here oh uh, that's very man very true on everything I've, I've experienced like you know both sides of that they said you know when a member of your star family dies you feel it deeply you know i've told you guys about you know my partner in 2020 i lost a partner to gun violence i mean he was i was with you know we were uh together at the time you know by the grace of god you know all those rounds like 16 rounds hit a vehicle and six of them pierced my person but they didn't i, I wasn't shot at all uh that that's what triggered my spirituality that's the, that's what eventually kicked it like i'm like okay there's a god there's got to be a god you know but um also you know when you meet people like and i you know only recently that i really feel outside of you know my the person that was in my life that passed away you know only recently have i encountered anybody that like i feel like i've known them before I mean, there was that false flame. Like, I don't, I don't know if that was a love spell or what. I felt like I knew that person, too. But I, I yeah, boy, was I mistaken. Like, like a lot of you, you know, you're like, well, shit. I thought I knew. <laughs> um, Star family. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Call in. Pray for them. You know? Um, yeah. Um, that's all I got, fam. I'm going to close this reading here. Um, I hope this helps. I hope there was some uh, confirmation, some clarity, uh, maybe some encouragement. Uh, maybe this, you know, cued you into what's going on behind the scenes, uh, helped you put two and two together. Um, if nothing else, thank you so much for joining me, fam. I love you guys so much. I love you to the moon and back. You know, stay encouraged. Stay uplifted. You know, don't let these people. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to be nice. Don't let these people. You know, them other people, them downstairs, don't let them project their bullshit onto you. You are just as amazing as you as you feel you are. Trust and believe that. So, yeah, don't let people project their bullshit on you. They're miserable. They want you miserable. Yeah. You know, remember, you are loved. God loves you. Your guides, your ancestors love you. Kev loves you. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got. As always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.